Knocko at Columbia Elementary in the second grade. We've been working hard on some dino research projects where we took those projects and put them into a dinosaur museum where our kids had to memorize after they researched the project, the other dinosaur, they had to kind of memorize and perform that in front of lots of parents and draw a picture and color their dinosaur.
Okay. I am 82 feet in some years. Did you know I'm one of the tallest dinos and my name means our mother? So what is for dinner? Lava rock, baby. I'm Mrs. Veal, and I'm going to share a little bit about how our second graders used iPads to research their, for their dinosaur wax museum. Um, we have a couple different tools that they used. We have an Encyclopedia Britannica app that they all use to research, and we also have some other apps like Arrow of Dino, and it gives them all the different dinosaurs that they could choose from. And once they found their dinosaur, they took the research that they found and they organized it in a folder and then they turned that into their research report and we inserted a picture from the iPad on their research report. Hello, my name is Chris Holm and I'm a second grade teacher here at Columbia. Uh, one of the reasons that we do this Dinosaur Wax Museum is because one of our standards is to do oral presentations. So the kids did a lot of research, but then they also needed to present it um, to people. And so we thought it would be fun to bring in parents and friends for them to do that, um, so it's a little more special. So as you can see that in the footage, they will drop in a coin, and that's when the kids kind of come alive and tell about their research. Um, and then we use that money to buy books for our classroom. So last year's class bought books for this year's class, and this year's class will buy it for next year.